offer numerous degrees across a multitude of fields. Oh my god. Gearbox. Sociopath. Gearbox. Sociopath. <laughs> and storytelling. With with the volume a little sounding accent. Gearbox University comprises three unique colleges that will place you on whichever path to success is right for you. At the College of Gearbox Software, we can shape you into the looting, shooting vault hunter you've always believed you could be. <laughs> Gearbox At the definitely College knows of their Gearbox audience. Publishing, we offer advanced degrees in Norse mythology. What is the Gearbox audience? Or regular meteorology. I don't know how to say it without getting canceled, so I'm just leaving this out. On the deification <laughs> of gravity. <laughs> <laughs> there's the college of but they, they definitely know else who their doing. audience is with specialties in <laughs> badass bunker nomics history of magic oh, enlarged vehicle maneuvering and yes even hollywood filmmaking did you hear we're making a borderlands movie it's true let's learn more about all the innovative opportunities you can find at gearbox university dynamic pioneering groundbreaking Did you know that we were making a movie? <laughs> I am that guy. Right now on the set of the Borderlands motion picture in development, in production, we're shooting. Uh, this is a live soundstage. And I thought, <laughs> since I'm here, wouldn't it be cool if I walk you around a little bit and show you some of the cool stuff that we're doing? Uh, let me let me walk you this way. This is a live set. I'm assuming that's the person who's playing right that now, character. We've been <laughs> everywhere. We've been in the caves of the caustic caverns. Up, haters. We've been uh, uh, in the, in the desert, Green uh, in the sand quarries, and in is. the stone quarries, doing all kinds of amazing stuff. Uh, actually, look, uh, this is, let me, hey, hey, Eli, can I grab you for a second? Yes. This is Eli Roth, our director. Oh! Hey everybody! Uh, this oh. is uh, E3. He's an he's actor, actor, isn't he? Gamers. And you guys, is he? You I know. I, I think he's in. Um, he doesn't exist in the game. But fuck! He's in, the he's in Inglorious in Bastards. Isn't he the bear Jew? This character Atlas <laughs> exists hypothetically. He doesn't look familiar to me. Yeah, he's in, the dude that goes around beating the shit out of people with the baseball bat. For the first time Hold on. His name was Eli Roth, right? Doing this. Thank you, man. I'm very happy. I didn't yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Eli Roth. I feel like we're just getting started. The whole yeah. point is to entertain people. And this movie that Eli's making, it's, I mean, it's unreal. I mean, we, yeah, he's the bear Jew. I, I love this guy. Filming, but it's I don't know he was a film director. Totally Are most That's actors film directors? <laughs> I, I was not aware of that. Had a twirl of lad off. You know what? I think we should. I feel like most sure actors end up being film directors. This is, this is the stunt I could see this that. Is, like this changing is a, careers this is a, after a while. Video game fans he, he seems, I know. The infinity, I know so the people who infinity. direct and The Mandalorian are like uh, well, the girl from Jurassic actually, World, you know, John Favreau, yeah. Taika Waititi. And Taika Waititi is also an actor. He's going to be in that Free Guy movie. He also stars in some of his own movies. Like he was in Jojo Rabbit. But John Favreau has been directing for a while. I think it's because his. I can't wait for you to see it like, blow up the way he wanted to. Yeah. I saw, you know, everyone thinks of Kate. Bryce Dallas Howard, though, had a pretty okay dis uh, and how career. Talking as well as I saw how unbelievably funny she was. And I noticed that she brought out the great dramatic acting in Jack Black, and Jack brought out the great comedy in Kate. She was so into Jack it. Black is going to be in this movie. You know, understand it from the inside out. Like, what are the powers? Where do they come it's from? It's wild to watch her walk like Lilith. Like that blew yeah. my mind. She's totally done it. We want to make a real great science fiction movie. We don't want to make just make a great video game adaptation movie. Right. It's going to be a great, well, that's the key, a right? great yeah. You just have to make a great sci-fi movie, period. And it's it's really come to life. So for Borderlands, it actually fans sounds really cool. I like play like the that. video game. If you have people, I don't in your think lives, video game movies should be good video game movies. You know, yeah. but aren't gonna play the they game should be good game. movies. It's I beautiful. think beautiful. they try too hard to mix cinema with like we need to be good to the fans. We want this to be like if it's good, the fans will come. Yeah, exactly. Like Sonic. I can detect the Pikachu. Yep, so yep, 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 yep. That you know, you're you're telling 80 hours of story every time. I mean, people people can live in the world, so we have to create a different experience. And yes. The experience has to be thrilling in a different. That way is true. You can't fit 80 hours of a game <laughs> into two hours. <laughs> but like, just Kate Blanchett, cast of actors that all came Kevin in Hart. just to come in and play and 
everyone is so into their characters. Like the, we see way Florian's playing Creed. Florian or, is killing Ariana it. Ariana is Tiny Tina. She's Kevin doing is amazing. rolling. I mean, Kevin is a man on a mission. I can't believe like he's watching playing like a Kevin full action star. Go full action star. I think he's really going to surprise people. I think Kevin's over there actually. And really? I know Lisa is uh, trying. Lisa, She's our trying first to get lady. A shot. You go get, She's, go get him. You go to work. Gonna, All right, come with me, guys. Come with me. I'm going to see if I can find Ari and uh, one of the producers and Emmy. Uh, the our odds are legendary. Hey, Ari! Can I interrupt you, man? Guys, th th this is uh, Emmy and Ari from Arad Productions. Uh, Ari Arad has made a whole bunch of awesome movies. It is also cool uh, that they have the guy the in Arads charge of the game from Marvel, on right? the set. Because Avi Arad was the founder and the CEO of Marvel Studios, and they created a movie called Spider-Man, and then uh, Iron Man, I believe you're the executive producer. Yeah, I worked on that one. You worked on and then uh, and then the X-Men, and then the, the Avengers, and you know, I think it's gone from there. This These guy are the most did not look like he was ready for movies of all time. No. And the pitch you gave me was, hey, that was cool. The we pitch by Randy Pitchford. Uh, we <laughs> think that video games are the next frontier of this, and we think Borderlands is the perfect video game. And and you and, and you were really flattering. And and how how was I? It's like, like The Last of Us uh, show is being written by like Neil Druckmann. You made us work for it. <laughs> Uh, it, it's right. very, yeah, very helpful to like, do that. We get hit up from Hollywood people all the time, and it's a different world. Like, what we have to do to make video games is a completely <clears> different <throat> skill set than what you care about in making these incredible films. And I, 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 didn't want, I wanted to make sure that if we were going to partner with somebody what? on the film side, that it was that the mediums are people different that, that cared and about our universe, what cared about works our fans, in movies doesn't necessarily uh, work and cared about the character and the worlds that we Are you being sarcastic? And was going to actually no, I'm serious. Not just like I'm glad that he's aware of that. And this, and oh, I thought you said you weren't aware of that. I was like, no, what? No, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> glad that he's <laughs> aware of that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. We called it dating for two years. Exactly. I remember. You remember. We were dating for years. Yes. And uh, but we, we we did a deal and that and it's been a long road. Yeah. It's like I wonder what Paul W S Anderson thinks when he really makes Resident Evil and Monster Hunter. Feels like How can I fuck up the franchise? Well. I can't. I can't believe it. <laughs> you know, and we're really proud. Of Bro, what happened to Monster Hunter? Did that movie it's, ever come uh, out? It's it's pretty amazing. So yeah. We're about. We're I'm about the tank. <laughs> oh yeah. With the shooting. Yeah yeah. We're about shooter. We're about two thirds of the way down. Oh look at this. We have a really funny shot. Oh yeah. With the yeah. trash, we should be shooting it behind the scenes. I I I was told that we. Well, can't I don't think really... we can give it away, but I think that for him, anyways, for our behind the scenes, we should get it. Oh 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 oh! So the um, Monster Hunter I'll movie has a five point um, three on IMDb. This is Eli. This is our oh my god! Rotten no, no, Tomatoes like, and for some strange reason, a four on Voodoo, a four out of five. We can't show. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. I don't want to, okay, so guys, uh, it's going to be an amazing E3. But yeah, it came out December 18th um, uh, of 2020. Borderlands, the film, is going to be absolutely incredible. Uh, uh, we've got some cool stuff I don't know why Capcom... I, I know some of you are interested in seeing... They keep hiring the, this dude. Uh, the new game that we that He's we done seven Capcom and, uh, movies. Like, think about that. Seven movies. So Capcom don't know, seems like they don't know how to hire anyone to make their live movies because whoever they hired to do fucking... I'll catch you later. The live action Resident Evil show is uh among the many innovative courses offered oh, by the University. <laughs> sure a little? Check out Borderlands Science by solving the puzzles. Who joined the chat? Was that bugs? Real world oh, I have no idea. I'm, I'm not gut microbiome. Yeah, I'm not like I can't see you. in the audience. Here's our leading scientist, Maya Bialik. By playing Borderlands 3, you can contribute to real-world scientific research that helps real people. You'll be directly helping our scientists organize and compare this... Was that that Ari guy? I'm the conductor <laughs> of the food train! <laughs> With Borderlands Science, you too can be the conductor of the poop train. And while you'll reap in-game rewards when you play, the real reward is knowing that you're making the world a better place. Gearbox University. We're not even charging tuition for this. If, if I'm not wrong, Gearbox makes a lot of poo poo caca uh, fart fart jokes. Yes, yeah. which is I why I said that they know their it. audience from the, <laughs> the, the, uh, the stream. The first <laughs> truly 3D RTS. RTS? Oh. Slice of Homeworld. That's the say. first RTS to use a full 3D axis in all direction. So that was a big oh God, this fly was sound. <laughs> Homeworld 3 now in production. What is Homeworld? 
Seems Prepare. like you don't even know. Cool. <laughs> hey, you just named things from yesterday. <laughs> What's this? It's the Tina's Wonderland. It's the exact same trailer. <laughs> I completely forgot about this trailer. Like, I forgot what it looked like. You think we get gameplay? Rises from the grave. Hopefully. It stocks the ocean floor. Did, did they not know that they released a trailer for this yesterday? At Summer Game Fest? <laughs> By the god himself, Jeff Keighley. <laughs> <laughs> we at Murderverse or Gaming want to get Jeff Keighley on our, one of our episodes of Let's Go oh, Around. <laughs> That's the dream. That's what we have to achieve for. <clears throat> but stallion. Yeah, see, 2K and Gearbox. There you go, that's what it is. Take two. Coming early 2022. Uh, quick question. We're not talking about yet, right? That is correct. Oh, it's my favorite. Hi, I'm Kalo Belmore, and I'm senior producer on Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. They're just not hiding any spoilers, are they? No. I mean, they're hiding the spoilers, but they're. <laughs> Wonderlands, it's a looter shooter, which is you know pretty classic for Gearbox software, but for the first time ever, we're setting it in a brand new fantasy environment even though it's inspired by some of uh, the content we've made before with Assault on Dragon's Keep, a fan favorite. Roll for initiative, suckers! It's a completely standalone plot, new set of characters with some not- Man's Andy Cyberg, a Sandberg, and then uh, Wanda Sykes. <laughs> you can absolutely jump right in and enjoy- Yeah, I'm amazed that Wanda Sykes is on this. Wanda Sykes is pretty hilarious. <laughs> Amazing. Excited I love one to talk sucks. about all of our new enemy types. Uh, so that is one of our wyvern enemies. You will absolutely be fighting them. They're not your average wyvern. So of course we've got goblins. You definitely <laughs> can't have a fantasy game without goblins. It's crazy goblins, to think that this was again, once a DLC and it's like blown up so much. That like, you can make a game out Thank of this. Thank you so much, everybody. I hope that you are as stoked as we are about Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Follow us on our social channels to find out the latest and greatest news. Enjoy the rest of the show. <clears throat> this franchise has been around for so long. Oh my god. <laughs> Here we are years later and it's editing looking this. at like well, Homeworld 3. They really want uh, they don't have that Ubisoft production value. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> hey, we know. <laughs> you told us. <laughs> the giants have come to Midgard, and you have been chosen. We by the also oh, yeah. saw this yesterday. But your first task is to find some new clothes. This is the one that I was like, find our resources, or however she says your it. Your tribe's journey starts in the wilderness. Oh, she's say Hunt right down now. pets, gather rare resources, and explore yeah, the rare resources. world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Once you and then you make clothes. Return to your village and use those resources to forge Viking-worthy gear. You must protect the seed of- Bro, Man, God of War really weird. started a trend, huh? <laughs> this world and everything <laughs> will be destroyed forever. So take heed. A helping that's that's Link. Sunset. You saw that? That yeah. <laughs> That's the Link right there. <laughs> they destroy the seed. This is that God of War Breath of the Wild. Bro, people, you know, this is what gets me tight, is that when the trend starts, man. What do you mean Norse mythology makes money now? Bet. Let's do a Norse mythology game. What? Breath of the Wild is famous too? Cool, let's make it look like it too. The rag physics though. This poor pig. It's time for us uh, to end bro, the he looks like Korg from Ragnarok. I was gonna so say, this is, uh, <laughs> is greater uh, than their height. damn, what's Loki's last name? Lifey? Lifey son? Yeah, Lofison? Yeah, that's Lofison right there. <laughs> Can't wait. Tribes of Midgard. 
Yay. This also looks a lot like that Ubisoft game. Uh... Phoenix? Yes. Phoenix Rising? Is that what it is? Uprising? Hello everyone! Something like My that. name is Ren Maroda. I'm the creative director at Northville. We're just under two months what away from finally... On the side? Is that an ass ass Assassin's, Assassin's Creed? Pop? Of Midgard ...and deliver it to you on July 27th on PS5, PS4, and Steam. No In terms of Midgard, you this play as like an Ainu, <laughs> a glorious Viking hero that's been returned to Midgard He's in order to protect the seed of yeah, the Yeah, that's how you start out the game. Tree. Every time you start a new run, <laughs> and you would want to explore this new world, naked. gather some resources, fight enemies, yep. and return to your village <laughs> gather in resources. order to craft better equipment <laughs> and tools to help you survive. <laughs> You can also upgrade and fortify your feet. like a mobile game. Because each night, creatures from hell will emerge um, from the depths isn't this, to attack your tree. Is, this is a similar concept to, uh, to go back Fallout 76, to no? Enemy camps, we have to, like, to uh, caves, build your like, house in events, and, uh, the town and shit. Build mm, no. Anywhere, and of course, <laughs> loot Don't you have to do that in Fallout 76? Experience and level up your Viking. We know I have yes and no. Like It's not the whole each purpose of the game. I'm saying the concept of building a town and like, you your home. You level that up aspect is in more skill, 76. It's in all the fallouts. With dozens of runes for You're right. The top results. That's not exclusive to But 76. those nightly creatures aren't even your biggest threat. I never do it in Fallout. At least four. Like I never did it once in Fallout 4. I never used my building. And I beat the game perfectly fine. Every couple of days, a giant will emerge and walk towards your village with the intent of destroying the seed of Yggdrasil. Damn, bro! And take it down, whatever the cost. Square. Otherwise, it's game over. Uh, you can of course play Tribes of Midgard completely on your own, but oh my god, he chopped down that whole tree with one together. swing! We cannot wait to share more information. Got he has a Norse shirt on. You see it? Epic saga mm -hmm. in the weeks to come. <laughs> in the meantime, you can already pre-order the, the game right the now to earn exclusive items and be among the first to defend Midgard. Oh right shit, now. man! Midsummer era costumes. Valhalla can wait. Thanks for watching. Sell, sell. <laughs> His wife's behind the camera, like you fucking geek. We like to on the couch and tonight. have a little fun. A good <laughs> sense of humor is of vital importance if you want to succeed in these halls. Here's a list of sensible wisecracks you might hear when you're exploring our campus. Why did the tribe of Midgard cross the road? To get to the Othor side. Knock knock. Right. Who is there? <laughs> I'm sorry. The commando. The commando who? <laughs> I don't know. What are you asking me for? Welcome to the Homeworld Diner. Our special today is the dessert of carrot. Uh, Homeworld? Are we gonna get another Homeworld trailer? Fallen, and another slice of Homeworld? Uh. Clap, trap, tiny Tina and <laughs> Mad Moxie walk into a bar. Wait, I'm getting a uh, Sonic 30th bar, anniversary so vibes. Why would she be walking in? She'd already <laughs> be there. And is Tiny Tina old enough to drink? Maybe it doesn't matter in space. Also, what's the punchline? And how Did they just Claptrap condone walking? underage drinking? I want to say because it's in space. A unicycle. Okay, we'll Possibly. work on this before we submit to E3. Gearbox University. Our you know better than MVD is a Gearbox. Year degree. Wow, why are they throwing shade at people with two-year degrees? Facts. Wow. Macros thinks. The they really violated. I'm about yeah, to get yeah. mine too. <laughs> Godfall Rise on PS4? Oh, I guess because it, nobody cares about it on PS5. Yep. <laughs> Why would I want a free PS5 up so that if you buy the game on PS4 and then magically find the PS5 later on down the road, you can upgrade it to the PS5 version? No one's gonna buy this though. They're just hoping that someone will. Desperately hoping. <laughs> the launch title that everyone forgot about. One of the launch titles that everyone was excited for at first. It is time, my champion. And then the reviews came out. This is um the layman's uh, warfare. You know, people are coming at review like reviewers are complaining that nobody listens to them, but people listen to them. <laughs> they they definitely helped in the flopping of this game. <laughs> if we didn't have reviews, you know how many games I would have bought, bro. <laughs> you know how much money I would have wasted in my life. <laughs> I would have bought Anthem. <laughs> <laughs> 
Nah, that uh, that beta that we joined made me not want to buy. <laughs> I forgot you did that beta. Bruh. I did not do that beta at all. You wanted me to play with you. I couldn't even play by myself. <laughs> That's how bad that shit was. Godfall 2. <laughs> In development. <laughs> oh look, they got DLC. Fire and darkness. Greetings everyone. My name is Dick Kane and I'm the you senior the technical the back? producer at Counterplay Games. First and foremost, on behalf I do see of the teeth everyone, the back. CPG and Gearbox, <laughs> I wouldn't be proud I thank you for being <laughs> to part be of this guy. Up until I'm gonna let you know right it's now. It's crazy to think that Godfall just launched in November. I should get a road year. mic. Our developers uh, stand have been thing. hard at work ever since. In fact, this past February, we launched the massive Primal update, which included new content oh. such as additional rooms in Tower of Trials, Primal Gear. I'm gonna watch a playthrough of this and much, much more. But I'm excited to announce today that on August 10th, we will be launching Godfall. Wait, this wasn't free. Wasn't this free? Four. Not only that, Godfall, only no. Godfall on the PS4 entitles you to At one point, PS5 wasn't it free for upgrade, PlayStation Plus? And we will support cross-gen play so PS4 Fall and PS5 users can free, seamlessly not Godfall. Oh. Remember, and that was also the confusion. I thought of trials, it was like <laughs> Godfall. And I was like, why would you want to play that? They're like, no, really, Greedfall is the better. <laughs> <edition are> just <laughs> the and I play, we got all my... We're so excited to launch our first ever expansion, which we've entitled Fire and Darkness. Fire and Th this Darkness definitely is going to be free Fire Realm for the first time this year. Ever, where they'll be met with new challenges. And I'm telling you right now, it's going to be free for PlayStation 5 users. So, so much more. But alongside, I don't Fire know, man. With them dropping the PS4 version, it seems like they're up update, which we're calling the Lightbringer. Because if they if they would the be free, they would just put it on. The Lightbringer update free. is a new. Entity. No, they're gonna make it free for PS5, and then you have to buy the PS4 version <laughs> if you want to play it on your PS4. And be rewarded nah. with a new loot type, cursed loot. Cursed loot will challenge the player to complete particular objectives in order to lift the curse <clears> and awaken. Doesn't it do with control? Basically, if Control was free for PS5, stuff, but it wasn't free for PlayStation. Yet. And then, of course, we want to make fashion the four. And anyway, Final <laughs> Fantasy, they made it free for PlayStation 4 and everyone, but you couldn't get to the upgrade. The Lightbringer update right. and the expansion alike, all of which can be unlocked by simply completing objectives in the game. Thank you so much for your time today. It is an honor to be speaking here. Sony must be looking at this like, yo, why did we invest in this? <laughs> There's a really why did we invest in this? And vibe and oh, Homeworld. Homeworld hasn't been the third time. Oh no, Homeworld Remastered Collection. You saw that? Oh shit. Was it? Uh, it's not in 2003? It's not a remaster. No, the second one was in 2003. Homeworld. This is not a remaster. <laughs> this next Homeworld Three is a new Homeworld. We're Remember that? We got commercials. Gearbox University for they your really hit us with Homeworld endeavors. commercials. As you engage in your <laughs> That's me. Pursuits, don't forget to try out our <laughs> That's me right now. Activities. Show off your. I'm actually glad we watched this. This is pretty funny. <laughs> Photography club. Make lasting How not to do a showcase? <laughs> Featuring Gearbox. You can always try out for the I, I thought Capcom was gonna have the worst showcase, events, but, but <laughs> we've uh. Too hard at the homecoming game. Oh wow. Or you'll end up looking like this. Like like Godfall. You end up looking like Godfall. <laughs> Be sure to follow us on social media, where you'll occasionally find free shift codes as well as news and I announcements free about shit. our latest. So did I. I was like, uh, can you say that? Box University, we can shape your future because thinking for yourself is hard. Wow. Now go buy all our games. No. We're back. No, thank you. I hope you guys had an awesome presentation from all the Gearbox games in development <laughs> and Gearbox publishing products coming. Uh, listen, uh, I'm standing outside Kevin Hart's trailer door. I'm just going to... You guys want to meet him? I think, I, think, I think he wants to meet you guys. Who you come to my trailer? <laughs> let's see, let's see if he opens. Hey, Kevin, you got a minute? Ah! Borderlands oh, fans, meet Kevin Hart. How you guys <laughs> doing, man? He's really just rolling up on people. Pumped up right now, meet you guys. Uh, Randy, you should tell him actually how big I am in person. It's a, it's a great well, opportunity. I'm 6'3". Mm -hmm. and... <laughs> yeah, yeah, they can get a good grasp 
of how much height I put on for this role. Right now. <laughs> Dude, you are freaking awesome. Like, I don't like you don't you don't understand. Like, you're a freaking action hero. Thank like, you, man. This is this Thank is you. amazing watching you work. You know like, you're what? You're blowing my mind. I'm going to say uh, I one up you. I'll say it's amazing for me to have the opportunity to portray the character of Roland, of course, who you're very familiar with, because this is your creation. Um, I think the biggest and best thing is the surprise that you guys are going to be in for. Because you got no idea what I'm doing or how I'm doing or why I'm doing it. You got no idea the level that I came in at. You got no idea how much preparation I decided to put into this particular character Sounds in this like role. Kevin you got no idea. Interview. You got no idea. You don't even know what's under this jacket. OMG! It's metal! <laughs> you got no idea. My job is to come in, not only be prepared, but to shock. And I think right now this is what we're doing. We are doing it. I've seen some. I've seen some pretty like. It's, you it's, ready for some? It's, it's, he's gonna be no screaming. Seen you like this before. No. Cursing really loud so and then screaming some more. Job. That's gonna be Kevin Hart in this movie, right. as he it's is in every movie. Work like, he's working his ass off. Oh, everyone's working. His ass off. <laughs> you got an amazing cast. Um, uh, Kate, Jamie. Uh, Ariana, I wonder if they let him write any of Flo, uh, director, <laughs> Eli, Jack Black. You put an amazing group of people together. So, shout out to you, your team. He's here, done out to the Lions three guys, movies you know, now with for uh, Jack Black. That this is something yeah. that could be phenomenal. Shouts out to uh, to the world of Pandora, Pandora Knowers. Is uh, Dwayne Johnson going to make an appearance? <laughs> That yeah, way they can get a full. He's gonna be the the post credit scene <laughs> you see for Borderlands Two, the become, movie. Uh, from a place of visual, you know, you're going to believe that you're in this place with it. So, well, I'm a, do you have a movie trailer? You have to end it with something. Like, hey, thank you, man. Hey, I appreciate you taking a minute to uh, introduce yourself to to our fans. No problem. I'm going back in here in the waiting room. I'll see you later. Or reveal the costumes at least. My God, give your fans something. <laughs> Take it easy, Kevin. Thanks, man. Holy crap, you guys. This is I can't wait for you to see this movie. It won't be long, but uh, we still got a lot of work to do. We're a little bit more than halfway down with the production. And, uh, but you know what? Back at home at Gearbox, all the great people that created this universe that I'm here representing on behalf of all the talent at Gearbox, uh, we're hard at work making new stuff. So uh, check this out, and I'll see you guys soon. Cheers, everybody. Bruh, uh, the fucking... Biggest waste of a half hour. I was, I enjoyed myself. That was pretty funny. Jesus um, Christ, gearbox. <laughs> that was one of the worst presentations I've ever seen in my life, and I've seen every EA presentation. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. EA be having some bad presentations, but at least EA has like one or two good games hidden in them. Usually the Star Wars games, <laughs> but <laughs> my god, <laughs> that was so. Bad. It was so bad. All right, guys. <laughs> we also didn't get any gameplay for fucking what was that that game Home Homeworld? Home Homeworld, yeah, slice of Homeworld. We didn't get a single trailer for it. They, it's they not a remaster. A collection and the third one coming out, but not a single trailer. It's not a remaster. It's a it's a it's a new game. It's Homeworld three. They really closed it out though with Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart was really that. No trailer, no like. He, they showed the picture, but silhouettes. Why couldn't you just show your fans the the way they're gonna look in the game? They're talking about Fire Cry Six. You saw that. <laughs> and then they cut the live stream. Okay, guys. That is uh. That yeah, Gearbox. that's that's Gearbox. <laughs> that was Gearbox, and um, I hope you guys enjoy the video. <laughs> I have nothing to say. I I've never bought anything of Gearboxes, uh, and I still don't plan to. They didn't. They didn't. They didn't make me a a, a believer. No, I want to watch this. Jeff chats. Hell yeah. <laughs> 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 peace out yo uh we will catch you guys on the next video which will be microsoft that'll be the next time you see us i think yes, i believe so it will be microsoft and we're gonna be having a good time with that one and it's that one has to be like 90 minutes yeah i think it's an hour and a half all right guys we'll see you on the next video peace out peace